Okay, I found this baby over with I've actually put it back with these chicks have been going back and forth between two hens. Look, the other hen's coming down. There she is. We're in the process of cleaning up this mess here. We've been doing fencing. Oh, sorry. Let's get that out of the way. There's some, look, there's some bugs there, worms. Yes, they've got some chicks out there. You're a good boy, aren't you? Hey with me while I look at the birds. It's pretty good. Just teaching them to scratch. It's good, isn't it? So that's actually her baby that she hatched. She hatched this little black one, hatched the two little ones, the little white with dots and the little brown one, which is purebred. And the little uh, yellow chick was hatched by another bird, but she kept sitting on the eggs and she hatched quite a few birds and they died. A lot of them died because she, she wasn't actually getting off the nest. She kept trying to hatch the birds. So what I did was threw away the rest of the eggs and then she went and stole this one off her because I gave the birds to this one. I, I gave her a fresh batch of eggs, sorry. Then she left that egg, those eggs Took the chickens off her side, gave the chickens to this bird. One of them's died. Well, I don't know what happened to it, but she stole one back. I'm not making any sense there at all. That's Fred, that's their partners, Fred and Wilma. Her, her, uh, their feathers will all, all start looking better soon. They've all been molting. See, she's scared of Fred. I mean, Frank, that's Frank. Frank, uh, this is a good little mama. She's raised um, chicks before and done a good job. So these birds should be fine. And that's her little nesting box there. Now you might ask, why has it got rocks and why is it open like that? Because the little babies are tight, so tiny they can't get in and out. So there's something for them to stand on and come out and stand on and go in. Now she just took her chick back. But you're not a very good mother because you're leaving the chick with the other hand that's sitting on the eggs and not feeding it. See, the chick's happy to go between either hen. So they're competing for the chicks. I'll bring you some more, there's some more feed here. I'll find out. It's really good they're not leaving the yard. They're all um, staying in the yard because the dogs patrol the yard. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, that's it. Keep your baby with you. Sorry, it's a bit, I should have done this landscape. It would have been much better. Here's Frank. He's a good, he's a good rooster. We've got quite a few um, roosters. I'm keeping a lot of the cockerels unless there's a big problem with them because we've just lost so many um, birds and they seem to be getting along uh, introducing the younger as they grow up. The older ones keep them in check and just see what happens. As long as the, pull it, the hens don't cop it, we'll be fine. Here's the sea brights. You guys have got to stay in there. I don't want them getting mixed up with their bloodlines. They'll have a big re-enclosure eventually, but we're just working on the fencing at the moment. Yeah, I know. They're going out, aren't they? So they can get in and out through that, that fence. Through the holes. See, she's calling them, that little noise. They all make that noise. You look a mess, Wilma. The darling bird, that one. See, they're good daddies. They help look after the chicks too. They protect them. You're a good daddy, aren't you? Yeah, I know. What is it? You watch them all. What is it? Everyone's gone really quiet. Oh, careful, okay. ah, 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 ah. don't you dare, sit, hey, sit down, what are you doing, hey, Slinky, sit down, sit, my god, you're in slow motion, sit down, what are you doing, 